Amit. Um, nice meeting you, and thank you for taking the time to, to do the interview. So, could you share a little bit with us uh, your view on what the investor should be aware of while building their portfolios that can, that can include hedge funds or alternative asset classes? Sure. So when you're building a portfolio which has alternatives in it, it's really important that you make the right uh, adjustments to your traditional risk metrics because the costs of being wrong are really high here. And that is because the manager performance dispersion risk is much higher in alternatives compared to your traditional asset classes. So you know, for an example, uh, if you use private equity as an example here, um, Somebody wants to say want to invest in private equity because they have the capability to and they, they want to capture that extra return that comes with private equities over public equities, you know, something close to 3% extra. And they pick a manager, but despite your best efforts, it can happen that you pick a 75th percentile manager. You know, median is 50 percentile and 75th percentile is not the end of the world. But the problem here is that even though your 50th percentile or median manager in private equity is outperforming the public manager, public equity manager by 3%, your 75th percentile manager in private equity could very well be below the 75th percentile manager in public equity. And this is a risk that many people do not incorporate when doing portfolio construction with alternatives, and it applies equally well to hedge fund portfolios as well. And this is something that needs to be quantified and included as a risk factor in your portfolio construction when you're constructing alternative portfolios. Or you can, uh, there are some ways to reduce this risk as well. You can use replication strategies or plug it in in your portfolio construction process, whether it's risk parity, mean variance, or risk-based rates. Mm -hmm. So um, what's your view on hedge fund or alternative strategies? Right now, I'll say, are there any specific alternative strategies that you like in the current market environment? Sure. So, if you look at the current market environment, it doesn't look that great to us for traditional asset classes. Uh, bond yields are you know, still pretty low. Uh, it doesn't really compensate for the risk that you're taking in duration. And then on the other side, if you look at equities, uh, they're at all-time highs, uh, they have richer valuations, and all that at a time when most of the recession models, including our internal proprietary models or external models that we look at, they are close to all-time highs in terms of recession risk or probabilities in this entire cycle. So from that point of view, it's a good time to be in absolute return or hedge fund or alternative strategies uh, if you can find the good ones. Now, the problem with picking the right one is that you want to be in absolute return strategies because they are uncorrelated to macro factors. Uh, they're uncorrelated to risk on risk off environment, which you can determine based on macro variables. Uh, so it's really hard which strategy will do good or bad in the particular environment. So we would, we would like to be exposed to uh, 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 multi-alternative, multi-strategy kind of framework, though you can exclude some highly data-sensitive strategies in this environment. Okay. Thank you for sharing your insight with us, Amit. Thank you. Thank you.